Hello, another video about the Uniform 3D um, editor. So it's about retopology. And it took me hours to figure this out. So <clears throat> I have to start with uh, a YouTube video. So there's a YouTube video up from Spasil. Um, here you see one quad on the on the side of the head here and on the other side there is no quad so i pressed play you can, you can add, add a, a symmetrized poly mesh overlay to your retopology so, on so they add a symmetrized poly mesh overlay to the quad yeah. this, this bisects, bisects your retopology so now they got two quads, one on the right side, one on the left side. So before there was only one. Okay, so I started <clears throat> my journey with uniform. So at the moment, so I delete this mesh here and I started as they do. So I select the mesh here and here, here you see at the bottom the symmetry. So I deactivate the symmetry at the moment. And in the gallery, I search for my quad. Quad build mesh. So I draw on the surface my quad. So you see now, here is my single quad and no quad on the other side. So now in the video they told me um, I should add a symmetrized symmetrized poly mesh overlay. So okay, so here I got now two quads. So I tried the move, so they work in symmetry. But I want the the quad on the other side, not side by side. So, yeah. Okay. So I tested everything. It doesn't work. Okay. So I clear here now everything. So I clear the modules uh, and I delete the, the quad. So and I start from the beginning. So I select the main mesh here and here I activate the symmetry. Here in the symmetry settings, make sure that the X symmetry is active. And then here search for your quad mesh, quad, quad build mesh. So Insert the quad mesh here on the sphere and you can't see anything because you have to activate the cozy blanket thing. So this is a retopology thing. And this here, so when you activate now the move tool, there's no um, yeah, retopology uh, active at the moment. So you have to activate such a override for the other tools. So this is the retopology override. So now it works also for the move tool and, um, and the other tools. Okay, now we have two quads. And when I use here the cozy blanket pencil, I draw here. So here's no symmetry at the moment. And now we have to activate the symmetrize, symmetrize poly mesh overlay. So now it should work. Yeah, we got symmetry. So only to compare you see here, they did not use the symmetry for this to insert this whole thing. 
So this makes me crazy. So I don't know if something changed or so, but I got it. Okay, so yeah, for the retopology thing here, you can use the cozy blanket thing here and uh, yeah, at loops and so on. This is retopology, you have to watch other tutorials. So like this. And inside the app, sorry. So here are my notes about this. So here are the, the used tools. So quad build mesh, um, poly build, cozy blanket pencil, X10 contour and contour build mesh. So let's test the contour build mesh. So I go in the side view and I'm searching for the contour. Contour build mesh. So you have, so you see here your brush radius. So at the moment, so here this, from here to here, this is um, yeah, the size of the quads. So maybe I use now this one. And now I draw from, from the left side to the right side, so like this. And now they insert um, such a... Um, a band around the whole thing. So, but it's a, but it's a separate mesh. So, here you see a mesh one, mesh two. I, we have to figure out how it works. So, <coughs> how to combine the meshes, and maybe uh, we put it as a child here, and uh, I don't know. Um, so, and the other thing is here the um, extent contour thing here so extent extent contour so here you see here and now the the mesh extends in this direction so like this here so yeah okay this is the thing here so i delete this one and i'm using this one and um, an interesting thing is, I think here, um, when you use the subdivision, and let's see what happens. Where is it? I think I'll go a step back. Yeah. Here, there is, yeah, um, with a subdivision, there's also such a thing here. And yeah, let's use the other tools, this poly build tool here. You can start here like this, I think. So poly build. And with a cozy blanket, there's um, such a thing, um, so such, so you can draw here to delete some parts and then scribble again and do it like this. Okay, you can play with it, but now you know how to activate this feature. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.